In this video, I am going to talk about the structure of the ovum or the egg cell. Ideally, what is released is the oocyte. So, first let us see how we draw it. First a circle, then a thicker circle next to that circle and outside this now we have to draw row of cells. These are the follicle cells. Now, we know that ovum is a haploid gamete which is produced by the ovary and is released at the time of ovulation. This ovulation happens in the 14th day of the menstrual cycle. When ovulation happens, the ovum that is released has not yet completed the meiosis, meiotic division. It is still in the secondary oocyte stage. This completes meiosis only after fertilization. So, here what we have drawn is the oocyte that is released at the time of ovulation which has this row of cells surrounding it. So, we begin labeling that. So, we begin with the outermost layer that is the layer of follicle cells which surround the ovum. So, as it is released there are some follicle cells which are attached to it and this layer is what we call as the corona radiata cells. Next to that is a thick layer of glycoprotein which is called as zona pellucida which is for protection. Now, between the oocyte and the zona pellucida is present a space. This space is what we call as the perivitelline space. The plasma membrane of the oocyte is, all, is called as the vitelline membrane. So, this is the vitelline membrane. Next, we label the nucleus. The ovum has the haploid nucleus and that is the nucleus that is there. The cytoplasm that is in the ovum is what we call as the ooplasm. So, that is the ooplasm. Now, in this towards the periphery that is near the white line membrane are present granules which are called as the cortical granules. These cortical granules release a chemical substance when a sperm fertilizes or fuses with it such that the zona pellucida hardens and does not allow any other sperm to enter. 